Hi everyone, it's Scott here at Sound Attack, the famous drum shop in the UK. We're really honored to be at the Ferguson Academy with Steve Forrest from Placebo. He's going to show us around his drum kit, what he's using and everything. And uh, he's going to rock it up tonight, it's going to be awesome. Well thanks for coming and I look forward to uh, showing you all the, all the fun stuff. Starting with percussion, now um, I think a percussion for a kit is a lot of the personality. The little splashes of colour that you throw on top of it come from your zeal bells and things. So we'll start on the left and over here um, I did a bit of new edition, there's some rhythm tech crashes and they're really great and they don't sound like much sort of but right now by themselves but when you throw them into a track it's really a lot of fun. Also I have a Latin percussion jam block as well which is quite nice to throw on every now and then. Um, and the Latin percussion tambourine, which is, I think, any drummer's must, isn't it? You know, must have. Coming down to my second snare, snare number two. I think it's a 10, 10 by three. My entire kit is acrylic, and it's from SJC, and the beautiful thing about um, SJC's drums and why their acrylics are the best are because of the bearing edges. They're not so angular, they're more rounded, so they bring out a lot of the body and warmth of a drum, which a lot of acrylic drums do not have. So these, they're, they're quite, unique and I've gotten asked many times um, what what triggers the samples I'm using and I don't use them it's just that the drums are the way they are so starting over here on the left we have that snare drum too which is really really great then uh, my main snare drum here is a hybrid that I've gotten from SJC recently um, and it's I believe it was the one I saw was, was sort of bamboo and acrylic um, hybrid and I fell in love with it and so much to where I just I, I ordered too so Here's one of them, and the other one's on its way. Toms, I got uh, 14, 16, 18. And my rack tom, I had to make a bit deep, but I'm not sure that the uh, dimensions are of that, how deep that actually is. But I had to go a bit deeper in my rack tom because to get in order to get the sound that I wanted up a bit. Now, I, for one, am a firm believer that with a rock drum kit, your kick drum needs to be your cannon, and your snare drum needs to be your rifle. And the way that they sound, you know, you wanna, you wanna really kind of punch a hole in somebody's chest. Yeah, like, so I went for a 24-24, big boy, and I think it's just the right size before it starts getting too floppy and ridiculous. I think if you had 24 depth and it was like 26, for example, that'd be too much. My friend also has a 22-24 depth length, and that's really quite good as well. I, I think the 24 length is quite nice. It's, it's a punchy, but it's, 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 it's got weight behind it, and I love a lot of weight um, with my kick. My uh, floor toms as well, I've, I've put them on, on um, with legs instead of stands. And a lot of drummers I know will do hydraulic stands, so they sort of bounce a little bit. Um, but I, but I, I, I never really liked it. I think your drum should be pretty stationary and you should be the one that's kind of moving in and out with it. K hybrid 14 and a quarter hats. Um, I've had these for years. I just love them. They're, they're really great. Um, Quite a good middle of the road sort of hat, you know, for rock drummers, I think. Um, symbols, I got uh, Zildjian A Custom uh, 1920 crashes over here. Um, my crash ride is a 22K crash ride, which um, I'm from not polishing most of the, the brand we come off it by now, but at the K, that one, sounds great. I used to use the 21 Sweet Ride um, for years, and I needed, I wanted to sort of range up from that. I didn't like the bell on it. These have a great bell, they have a great wash, but also if you're doing little teeny jazz stuff, it works as well. Um, over to the 20 inch, uh, I think it's just an A Custom China. Finishing it off with the bell, and these things are very great. It's, it's this you can't use all the time, but when you do use it the right time, in the right place, it can really cut through and just and be quite unique. Moving on to the skins that I use, I'm a Remo man myself, I've always loved Remo skins and I use the Power Stroke 4s on everything except for my kick drum. My kick drum, I use the Power Stroke 3. When we got this kit, this, this SJC acrylic kit that I have, we tried every skin. We tried some coated ones, we tried some pinstripes. We needed to get the sound just right. We landed on the Power Stroke 4s and they sound really, really great. So anybody out there that's got an, got an acrylic kit, especially if you have big sizes, try out the Power Stroke 4s, they're really, really nice. Uh, for your snare drums as well. If you tend to be a heavy hitter or a hard hitter, which I am, they really kind of last and the, the, the tone lasts. And I have no dampening at all on the snare drum um, or any of the drums. The, these are built into the skin. There's, there's no O-rings or anything. I like letting my drums 
bring out. You know, you, you just tune them a little bit lower so you have that dampening without having to choke it. The same with um, on the stands. I keep my rack tom on a snare stand as well as this, and you never clamp it all the way down. You never have a grip in the drum. Have it so you can pull the drum out if you want, so it lets it resonate. Over here, I got um, the DW9000 hi-hat pedal, which I believe for your pedals, especially your single kick pedal, DW9000 is the only way to go. They're the best ones. I've tried them all, and get such great response from them, and they're sturdy. And when you're touring, for as long as we tour, for as many gigs we do, you need sturdy gear. So I got the 9000s for, for my feet. I use all pearl hardware with my, my cymbal stands, my, my uh, snare stands. Um, they just last longer, uh, and that, that's the that's the pure and simple of it. They're, they're just really durable. They're sturdy. I don't use the you know play the drums personally, but um, the cymbal stands are great. And sticks, um, I use Vicfoot. These are custom jobby. Um, I basically took the 1A Extreme, and I found me the lightest one that they had in a sort of box, and I just said make them all out that way. So they give you the same weight and everything every time, and put my name on it. Pretty cool of them to do that, you know. So thank you, Vic, for loving your work. And that is pretty much it, you know. Um, I really love my kit, and it's taken me ages to get just the way I want it, and I couldn't be happier with it. So thank you to everybody that's to me this well, and thanks for letting me talk you through it. Who's that? The guy over there, I'm recognising. Is that? Is that, that Mike? That's Mike. It's Mike. It's Mr. Dolware. Come on over, Come Mike. Say hello to everyone. He's gracious with his presence. Everyone. There he is. The Mike hello, Dolbear. Everybody. How are you? I'm here tonight to uh, see what the uh, young lad can do. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my notebook. Wicked. Yeah, I'm here now.